game being on Saturday, is it going to be kind of a, like a, a regular game week where you practice roughly yep. the same? Or? Actually, well, uh, you know, because we're going to travel down Monday, which would be a normal off day. And so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are going to be the same like we would, we do for a normal game. So getting about three days of good work here, uh, and then, like I said, travel Monday. Is, is any of this week uh, game prep, or, or is this all? Yeah, developed? good amount. Good amount of it's game prep, focused on Florida. Uh, a lot of reps for guys, but, yeah, quite a bit of prep. With, with, with their roster in such disarray, it seems like a bunch of guys in the transfer portal, are you guys looking more at just what they do as opposed to who's going to play? Yeah, I mean, schematics for sure. We do that either way. Um, how they're, you know, offensively, defensively, special teams, their schemes. We don't see uh, dramatic changes uh, going into a bowl game, so we're focused on that. they got some good players, and so we know they're going to be talent on the field for those guys. How, how do you prep for a quarterback that probably don't have any film? Well, yeah, you got a little background on where he's from. Again, going back to they do what they do. They do it well. they got good players to make explosive plays. They can run the game, create a lot of issues for you defensively with their motion, uh, some of their formations. So we well, got a lot to prepare for. Anybody else out for the bowl game? It's still just a, uh, for Rajon. us, yeah, just Ray Jean. Yeah, Ray and uh, Luke currently. Right. Yeah. Speaking of Luke, what were the conversations between you and like you and and, and like that, that you can share? You know, making his decision to, to go. Right? Yeah, you know, we we totally support him. Uh, it was great for us, and you know, a, a tough break having the injury early in the year, um, and then as it got later in the year the better decision so he'll be at the game which will be fun to see him and, and support his guys but we thank him for everything he did. Knowing that you had a lot of players that decided to come back because they felt like there was unfinished business because of how the bowl game went last year just how have you seen a different preparation from some of the guys that did decide to make that decision come back this year? Yeah I think the focus is there uh, they know uh, it was painful to, to lose a game at the end of the year like that so you know always learning from it got great leadership a lot of guys have been around it um, and even today's practice, I thought we were pretty focused in. Anything different that you're doing this year that you may not have done last year? or um, You know, again, the, it's similar in regards to it's an earlier game. Uh, these guys are finishing finals this week, so we didn't practice a bunch this week. We did uh, last time, but, you know, again, we're preparing similar to last year. Speaking on the Florida quarterback situation, do you think after last year in the bowl game having a relatively unknown backup come in, is that a little bit of healthy respect from the guys last year? Well, yeah, that's a good learning lesson. Like I said, prepare for anything. Um, They're going to have good players out there that can operate that offense and make plays, got guys to throw it to, the whole line's good. So they know it's going to be a big challenge. And what have you kind of seen from Florida that impresses you kind of so far early on? Uh, All three phases, physical, athletic, uh, play really hard. Uh, schematically challenge you on really both sides, so a big, big challenge. I know we asked you last week just about the SEC. We got cut, kind of cut off when you were, were in the car, but just how, um, just how is there uh, that style of play a little bit different than maybe some of the West Coast guys that you've been recruiting? Well, it shows up on tape that again, the athlete, athleticism, the physicality, um, it's all over the tape. On really, you're watching Florida, but the opponent. It's a good brand of football, so they got our. Uh, most respect. This opportunity to get to 10 wins, what, what does that mean to the players? I think to I mean, have that kind of opportunity. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's big, and they want to take advantage of it. Obviously, we're going to have to go earn it and play really well to do it, uh, but we've set a stage to be able to get to 10 wins, and that's a, that's a pretty good season. Jonathan, what do you think this could do for the program just as far as, like, having, you know, you're playing a big-time opponent with yeah. a ton of football history with the chance to get 10 wins, like, does that you think that can overall just help the exposure of the totally. program? Yep. Add to the momentum, the exposure of the program. Obviously, want to finish and send these seniors out the right way. So there's it can mean a lot. With all of the, the all conference guys who were named this week, I mean, 19 guys is, is obviously pretty remarkable. Yeah. What do you think that says about player development, recruiting, where you kind of elevated that as far yeah. as you know? It, it was an impressive number. There's no question. We got a lot of good players. They've been working hard. Got yeah, all three phases uh, represented on the thing. And so, look, I, we felt like we had a good team with a lot of good players. I think even there's a few guys that weren't even on that list that were deserving. So, uh, really proud of that group. If you're Florida, looking at your team now, the way your team finished, what were some things that were worry you about playing in this bowl game? Well, I think you would look at us offensively. Obviously, you got to stop the run. I mean, we're going to try to to run the ball and, and make it make it one dimensional. And so, you know, looking at that defensively, 
you know, aggressive style of play, trying to take advantage of that. Uh, again, they, they're good coaches over there. Got a lot of time to look at us, and so we got to be ready to uh, ready to play. Speaking of that running game, that offensive line, Jake going to be available? Um, you get, good. A little dinged up. In the yeah, currently I think we're headed toward a lot of everyone really good to go.